Some of you may be wondering, who is Harry Lauder? I've never heard of him. And yet, Sir Harry Lauder is one of Scotland's most successful international stars. 150 years after his birth, we are celebrating the life of Sir Harry Lauder, recognising his contribution to Scottish history, to the development of music hall and variety theatre entertainment, and his significance to Lanarkshire. Harry Lauder was born on the 4th of August 1870 in Portobello. Harry came from humble beginnings, but through hard work, determination and self-publicity, he gained popularity and acclaim, captivating huge cellar audiences worldwide with his comic singing performances. Lauder dominated the music hall scene from the early 1900s in Britain and across the English-speaking world. He was the first person to sell one million records, the first to deliver a one-man show and the first music hall entertainer to receive a knighthood. By 1911, he was earning $1,000 a night. Lauder was celebrated by royalty, by US presidents and by British prime ministers. Winston Churchill called him Scotland's greatest ever ambassador. He also had many famous friends and admirers, including Charlie Chaplin, Henry Ford and Andrew Carnegie. These cufflinks were presented to Harry by King George V. Though his success was global, Harry Lauder has particular significance to Lanarkshire's history. He moved to Hamilton as a boy to work in the coal mines. He fell in love and got married to Hamilton girl, Annie Valens. He built his reputation as a comic singer at local functions and competitions in Hamilton, Motherwell and Lark Hall. And he retired to Lauder Hall in Straven, where he lived from 1934 until his death in 1950. Harry is buried in Bent Cemetery in Hamilton. South Lanarkshire Museum Service holds 600 items relating to Sir Harry Lauder, collected since the opening of Hamilton Borough Museum in 1967. First item to be donated to the museum collection was Lauder's phonograph, sold by Harry in 1900 to help pay for his first trip to London. The Harry Lauder collection includes 250 pieces of original stage costume and props used by Lauder to portray his characters and sing his famous songs including this one, Worn to Perform, I Love a Lassie. I Love a Lassie was first performed by Lauder at Glasgow's Theatre Royal during a production of the pantomime Aladdin. It was an immediate success. This is the costume Lauder wore to perform the song She's My Daisy. The costume collection includes many original accessories and stage props. Though famous for the tartan-clad Scotsman he portrayed, Lauder was a versatile performer. These are just two of his other stage character costumes, We Parted on the Shore and I Love to Be a Sailor. As well as having a prolific recording career, Harry Lauder also wrote several books during his lifetime. This is the first edition of his autobiography, Roman in the Gloaming, first published in 1928. In recognition of his work, particularly his charitable work during and after the First World War, Lauder received many accolades and awards. Harry lost his only son in 1916, killed at the front while serving with Ergyll and Sutherland Highlanders Regiment. In 1917, Lauder launched an appeal for the injured Scottish soldiers and sailors, the aim was to raise £1 million. In 1919, he was awarded this Knight Bachelor's Badge for his efforts during the war. In 1927, he received the honour of the freedom of the city of Edinburgh. This was a sombre occasion, Lauder having lost his beloved wife Nance earlier that year. Harry called Nance his inspiration and guiding star. At the ceremony, an empty chair was left beside Harry. Lauder had retired from performing by 1934, though still continued to make public appearances. During the Second World War, however, he was called upon by Winston Churchill to entertain the troops at home, as he had done at the front during the First World War. In 1944, Harry Lauder was presented with Freedom of the Borough of Hamilton and was awarded this casket. Harry said of the honour, I've had lots of memorable days in my life, never to be forgotten, and this is one of them. Lauder spent his retirement years living at Lauder Hall in Straven. The house was purpose-built, designed by Hamilton architect's firm Cullen Lockhead and Brown. Since his wife's death, Harry's niece Greta had become his constant companion, accompanying him on tour and to events. Greta lived at Lauder Hall with Sir Harry and took care of his affairs. Sir Harry received many famous visitors at his Straven home. 
The Lauder Hall Visitors Book lists signatures from Laurel and Hardy, Sophie Tucker, Maurice Chevalier and Danny Kay to name a few. Sir Harry Lauder died in 1950, aged 79. Pathy News filmed a funeral cortege journey to his final resting place at Bent Cemetery in Hamilton. People lined the streets and shops closed their doors for the day out of respect for their famous local superstar. Following his niece Greta's death in 1966, the contents of Lauder Hall were sold at auction. Many items are now dispersed throughout the world. In South Lanarkshire, we are very lucky to hold such a rich, colourful and interesting collection relating to one of Scotland's most famous and successful entertainers. We hope you will enjoy exploring more of South Lanarkshire's Sir Harry Lauder collection online.